Would everybody please rise for the presentation of colors? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Firefighter Cadet graduation. I'm Assistant Chief Wes Van Vickel, and I'd like to thank you all for being here today to recognize the hard work and sacrifice undertaken by these cadets on their journey to firefighter. Uh, Assistant Chief Melanie Rucker will come up and read some remarks on behalf of Chief Tyner. Good morning. I am Assistant Chief Melanie Rucker with the Minneapolis Fire Department. Um, I want to welcome you all here um, on behalf of Chief Tyner. Uh, I want to also welcome uh, our new uh, Point at Safety, uh, Community Safety Commissioner, uh, Dr. Cedric Alexander, as well as Mayor Fry and other city council and dignitaries. Welcome and family and friends. On behalf of Chief Tyner, this is his message for this morning. Good morning, cadets, and welcome, friends and family. We have finally made it to graduation day. Today, you will be promoted from fire cadet to the rank of firefighter. I wish I could be there in person to offer my congratulations and a few words of wisdom, but I am at my sister's wedding today. If I didn't make it, I would never live it down. <laughs> he says, don't feel sorry for him because he's in Jamaica. <laughs> okay, so once you put your badge on, he says, you will instantly gain the respect and trust of your families, your friends, but also the public and people from around the world. The trust and respect that you will inherit today will be built over, has been built over the last 175 years by all of Minneapolis firefighters who have worn this badge before you. You stand on the shoulders of those brave men and women. My charge to you today is to uphold the trust throughout your careers and to pass it on to the firefighters to come. You do that by conducting yourself with the utmost honor and integrity in all your actions and dealings. From this day forth, you are a member of the universal family of firefighters. More importantly, you are a member of the Minneapolis family of firefighters. The relationship and trust and the maintenance of that trust extends to you when you are both on duty and off duty. Congratulations, class of 2022. Enjoy this day. Chief Brian Tyner. And then I also want to uh, say a few words to you this, this morning. Um, a quote that uh, is from Steve Jobs. You got to find what you love, and that is true for your work as it is true for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do, Steve Jobs. Being a firefighter is that type of work that will fill a large part of your lives. You will have good days, bad days, happy days, sad days, and those days that seem like they will never end. But hopefully you will find your true love in firefighting and all your hard work and dedication and all those days will be well worth it. I know that some of you are sweating buckets inside and also possibly outside. Nervousness and feeling completely unprepared to leave this training nest, so, so to speak. But I believe you are ready because you, because of your training captains and the entire training staff have provided top-notch training and instruction for all of you. Don't get me wrong, you'll still be stumbling around like, you know, a baby deer with fond legs for a while. 
but your new firefighter family has your back. You will figure it all out. Your confidence will build if you work hard, ask questions, and be proactive in lifelong learning. Again, congratulations. Welcome to the Minneapolis Fire Department. And then now, I will introduce uh, Mayor Fry to come up and speak a few words. Thank you, Assistant Chief Rucker and Assistant Chief Van Vickle. Uh, Commissioner Alexander, honored to have you in our presence. Our City Coordinator, Heather Johnston, and Deputy City Coordinator, Fatima Moore. Council members, Michael Rainville, Jason Chavez, and Elliot Payne. Leadership of the Fire Department, Command Staff. Council member, Aisha Shugtai. Director, Barrett Lane. Any other directors of our Office of Community Safety also with us? Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this team. And to the soon-to-be firefighters, this is a moment of celebration, but it's also a great moment of importance. You are about to become a firefighter a protector of those that need service. You are about to become someone that responds at those who are in their most critical moments of life. But most importantly, you are joining an exceptional team. When you look at the brass and the leadership up here before you, they are welcoming you aboard. Uh, as soon as you put on that badge, you're about to gain a whole lot of respect, as Chief Tyner said, but I was noting that in that statement, he was also saying that we don't quite respect you yet. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that we do. Over the last several months, you have been through the rigors of training. You've taken quite a few tests. You've gained a camaraderie for each other and the firefighters that you are about to become. You've been tested in hundreds of different ways. You ultimately are the cream of the crop. You are the ones that rose to the top. You are the ones that earned, that earned that ability to wear the badge that will soon be placed on you. That is a really big deal. But above all else, I want to say that we are a team. Not too long ago, uh, we entered a process where we are forming an Office of Community Safety that includes our exceptional fire department, our exceptional police department, our Office of Emergency Management, our Office of Violence Prevention, and 911. And it's the importance of working as a singular unit to provide the best possible service for people that need help in our city. And we've been through a tumultuous couple of years. There's more than a few people that need your help. They need your assistance now more than ever. And that you are wearing the badge that you do and the uniform that you do to make our city a safer place, that you are willing to literally run towards the fire when everyone else runs away. That says a lot about the integrity that you have as a person. It says who you will be as a firefighter. We are so honored to have you as part of this incredible department. We value your work. We value your leadership. And most importantly, we value you as members of this exceptional team in the city of Minneapolis. We are so honored to have you. Congratulations, it's a moment to celebrate. Let's get right to work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Fry. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into having these classes, a lot of moving parts, a lot of things that need to happen day to day that also on the fly where we need things. Uh, I'd like to take time 
to recognize the staff and our partners that have helped ensure that these cadets made it to this graduation day. And this is in no particular order, so please don't get angry. I'll probably go by how you're sitting. We have Staff Captain Dominic Nelson. <laughs> Staff, Staff Captain Adam Graves. <laughs> Staff Captain Stephen Pleasance. <laughs> and our lead captain for this class, Staff Captain Shana York. Deputy Chief of Logistics, Sean Olson. <laughs> Deputy Chief of EMS, Amber Lage. <laughs> I'm gonna skip Joe till the end. We have our training captains over here. We have Captain Teddy Jacobson. <laughs> Captain Ryan Schnabel. Captain Adam Granning. <laughs> Captain Kurt Meyer. <laughs> and Captain Ricardo Anaya. <laughs> I'd also like to thank IT analyst Tom Zoller for helping us get computers and get connected with Century College. Also, our Hennepin Healthcare Emergency Medical Services staff who are in the back, Jill McCafferty and Andrew Schiefelbein. <laughs> and then I'd like to give a special thanks to the Minneapolis Honor Guard and Captain Ben Shank for bringing up the colors and leading us with the bagpipes. Uh, Next up, I'm going to have our Deputy Chief of Training, Joe Madison, is going to come up and give some remarks. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, it gets real now. <laughs> it gets real. And uh, I'll tell you what, this journey that these guys just took over the last several months, I couldn't be more proud of a group. I was able to teach a couple of uh, cadet classes when I was a captain. I know how hard it is. I know the, the, the anxiety. I know how difficult it is to learn things that are new. And you guys grabbed it. Your captains led you. Shana took the, took the lead. And now you're here. You're part of this community. You're part of this community, this restructuring of government. You're the first class under the, the Department of Community Safety. And when we talk about community, you're part of it. Whether you live in Minneapolis or not, the third, of the, the third of the time for the next 25 years, you're going to be living in Minneapolis. You are a resident. You need to take pride in your community that you serve. And you will. And like we said, I've said a lot of things to you guys over the past couple of months, and, and I, I truly mean it. I won't tell them what I told you, but I truly mean it. I'm happy to see such a great turnout. I'm, I'm proud of the, the, the support that we received from our partners with Hennepin County and Century College. Um, we couldn't do it without them. We couldn't do it without IT. We're living in a COVID era. So we have people that were exposed to people that got COVID. Without the IT and the technology that we have today, those folks would have had to stand by and wait to the next class because they wouldn't be able to complete their training. Because of the technology with Teams, folks were able to um, go, stay at home and follow along with the instruction. And then when they came back, we caught them up on the, the, um, the physical part of it. So it was uh, very, very lucky to have that. And I, we hope to continue that. I just don't know how most of you realize what a big moment this, this is for these guys. And right now, I know they probably got chills going on their spine. But we're lucky and happy to have this new group of firefighters. Thank you. I'd like to bring up here now um, uh, somebody that's been like a brother to me for the past 12 years. 
we've gone through a lot of things together. Minneapolis Fire, Local 82 President, Mark Lukoski. Good morning, everybody. Um, once again, welcome everybody. Um, Mayor Fry, uh, first time graduation, uh, Dr. Alexander, hopefully the, the first of many. New council members, if this is your first one, I appreciate you being here. Um, like Joe said, everybody involved works very hard at this. and. This is a monster moment. I'm just really just going to speak to the cadet, cadets for the most part. I kind of wing stuff. I'm not well at writing stuff down and, and, and going there, but it's, it is from the heart and it's what I've learned. Um, well, to all of you, you pretty much have had pieces and introductions and worked some reps on, on what you're about to see this station. It's just going to it's just going to get busier. There's going to be some ebb and flow. It might change a little bit from how you learn something out here, but the main objective is the same. Um, I'm just going to speak to what I've learned important on the other side of the job, the off the job, how you carry yourself and how you represent the city of Minneapolis. Um, first and foremost, the residents and the visitors, visitors of Minneapolis, those are your customers. You need to treat them with compassion and you need to make compassion. It just needs to be a natural piece of what we do. We serve these people here and, and you just, the sooner you realize it, not saying you don't, but the, it's just a, it's a wonderful trait, whether it's hugging somebody uh, and somebody passed, um, or just holding, you know, just holding their hand when, during some serious trauma. We had a, had a bad car wreck the other night. Um, but just remember that these, these, these are our customers, and more often than not, when we're called, it's one of the worst days of their lives. Our job is to mitigate that event, minimize the damage, and hopefully get them to the hospital where people with more skills than us and higher level of skills can try to return their life back to prior to that event. I think about that all the time, and if you guys know that, I mean, the fire piece is great, you're like rock and roll, my firefighter, but you need to know that, and if you know that, you're ahead of the game. Um, the other piece on the fire side, you need to learn something, try to learn something new every day in the station. Work your craft and take pride, bring pride back into what you do. Um, that's my biggest piece for the station because you'll be learning for 20 years. But the piece outside the station, just to reiterate what Chief Tyner kind of said is, and, and, I, and I learned it, and you'll see it. You might not see it now, some of you might have friends on the job, but I promise you, you will see it. People will treat you differently as of today. Your neighbors, I'm telling you, they treat you differently once they learn you're a firefighter. Um, then they learn you're from Minneapolis. You're one of the, you know, the big firefighters. You got a volunteer guy, so you don't give them a whole lot of props. But they'll, they'll learn you're Minneapolis firefighters. And, and I'm telling you, they will treat you differently. They'll treat you differently from somehow they think you're a plumber because you live next door. Somehow you're the expert on national night out and everything. And <laughs> it's amazing, you guys. I mean, I've actually put, laid two lines in my neighborhood and put two garage fires out in the last eight months. But you, you will see it. Your family might joke and give you a hard time about it. But I'm telling you, there's a pride that comes out that, that maybe many of you never have had before. But what, what you need to do, like I said, what Chief Tyner said, is you guys haven't earned any of that yet, and that's not a shot. You just got through rookie school. That's been earned from hundreds and thousands of people before you. So what I ask that you do is you live your life in that manner, protecting that trust that's given to you carte blanche without even knowing you. Protect that with how you live your life on the job as well as off and you will do well because you're just a neighborhood expert. And it's, you're, you're gonna see that. So, like I said, good luck. You're just at the tip of the iceberg. The, the learning is not over, and congratulations. And like Chief Madison said, I know how big of a day it is. It, it's a rock star day, and, and I'll get out of here because I, I heard a rumor there's a party tonight somewhere. But um, congratulations, everybody, and welcome aboard. Cadets, it's my honor to administer your oath of office on behalf of the city clerk. Could I ask you to stand and raise your hand? Do each of you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the state of Minnesota, the charter and ordinances of the city of Minneapolis, and that you will well and faithfully perform the duties assigned to you as officers of the Minneapolis Fire Department to the very best of your ability throughout the term of your service, so help you God. If so, say I do. Congratulations.
Thank you, congratulations, and as new firefighters, we would now like to present you all with badges. Squad one, would you come up to the stage, please? Placing the badge on Firefighter Chance Blackie is his father, Officer Gordon Blackie. Yes. Firefighter Jeffrey Hill. <laughs> Firefighter Alex Kylan. Firefighter Della Rose. <laughs> Firefighter Diego Sanchez Cruz. Squad two, you can come up to the stairs. Firefighter Lenora Duhart. <laughs> Firefighter Reese O'Keefe. Firefighter Joseph Adi. <laughs> Being pinned by San Diego City Fire Captain Jason Shanley, Firefighter Norman Strickland Jr. Firefighter Jimmy Zhang. <laughs> Squad three. I'm uh, Captain Granning. This was my squad three, all five of these. Proud of all five of you guys. Um, you all earned your badges today, and I wanted to see you keep earning them every single day for the next 30 years or so. I uh, look forward to working with all five of you guys. Darius Gray. <laughs> Firefighter Darius Gray. Firefighter Andrew Lindgren.
Firefighter Nicole Nelson. Firefighter Larry Sanchez Rojas. Firefighter Javon Smith. Squad four. Firefighter Julie Bodie. <laughs> Firefighter Alberto Felix Jr. <laughs> Being pinned by St. Paul Fire Chief Inks. Firefighter Kyle Inks. Firefighter Matthew Madsen. <laughs> Being pinned by Firefighter Riegert. Firefighter Riegert. Firefighter Seamus Black being badged by Minneapolis Fire Captain Colin Black. Firefighter Mosin Hashi. <laughs> Firefighter Dylan Nigren. Firefighter Celso Ramirez. I'd like everyone to please join me as we recognize the graduating cadet class of 2022 and welcome them as firefighters into the Minneapolis Fire Department family. Congratulations. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Fire Department Chaplain Greg Bodine for the firefighters prayer. 
I also would like to offer my congratulations. This is a wonderful day. Uh, one of those crossroads onto the next season of your life. So blessings on to you. Uh, my name is Greg. I've been the Minneapolis Fire Chaplain for 43 years, coming September. It's like, how could that have happened? It started as a child. <laughs> but it's been my privilege to share a version of this prayer now. I think about the first classes who are now long retired uh, that I shared this prayer with. This prayer goes back to 1889. A version of this prayer has been shared at graduations over all these years. So it's a prayer of blessing. It's a prayer of protection for you, our protectors. And it's a prayer for strength and compassion and caring. Here, this firefighter's prayer, it's on the back of your bulletin. You're welcome to read along. A firefighter's prayer. When I'm called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save some life whatever be their age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late, to save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to feel my calling. I want to give the best in me to guard my every neighbor and protect their property. And if I am to lose my life according to my fate, please bless with your protecting hand my children and my mate. Amen. Amen. Thank you to everyone that showed up today to support our new firefighters. We have uh, refreshments um, out in the lobby area, and uh, we will be able to um, take photos with your, with your loved ones and friends. And uh, as we say that right now, will you guys rise? Just the firefighters, sorry. Okay. All right. So we're going to step out just like we came in in reverse order. All right. Let's go.